Don't you think this intro is long enough? That's what she said. It's winter, and you know what that means. Basketball. You do know there are other sports going on at Cardington right now, right? Alright, enough is enough, PNN. It's time to talk about the other winter sports. The first coach we interviewed was high school bowling coach Tim Edgel. Hey, I'm Tim Edgel, uh, the Cardington bowling coach. Okay. Uh, why do you do bowling instead of any, another winter sport like basketball or? Uh, I guess bowling boys a big passion. Awesome. What is something about bowling that other people might not know or understand? Um, there's actually a lot of things, but um, lane conditions or uh, types of lanes, there's synthetic and wood, so um, along with oil patterns. Gotcha, gotcha. How is, how is your season started and how is it going? It um, started pretty good, it kind of slapped off, uh, but we're hoping to turn that around towards the end. All right. What are you looking forward to in the season? I um, always definitely look forward to postseason tournaments. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thank you. That's it. All right, guys. Here we go again. A little, little pre-shot here. Wipe the oil off. Hopefully, you can you can see what I can see. Like I said, just uh, you know. Hopefully, give you a nice clean shot here. All we throw are good shots around this place, so. Here we go. That's gonna be pretty good. Ooh. Next, we interviewed high school wrestling coach, Mike Ungolabang. Why do you do wrestling instead of other winter sports? Wrestling's a sport that I grew up doing. Uh, it's a sport I like, so that's why I do wrestling. Um, what is something about wrestling that other people might not know? Uh, that it's uh, right. There's weight classes, so you you never have to worry about wrestling. Right? If you're weigh 150 pounds, you don't wrestle somebody who's 280 pounds. It's a weight class sport. How has our season gone so far? Rough. Young team starting out, lots of freshmen. So, uh, right, freshmen in wrestling, since it's a weight class sport, as a freshman, you could weigh 150 pounds and wrestle a senior, right, an 18 year old senior so uh why have why did you start coaching oh well the need mostly first right somebody they needed somebody here and i had lots of great coaches when i was a kid so uh, they taught me and gave to me so i feel like i should give back finally we interviewed indoor track coach clayton osborne hi my name is clayton osborne i'm the head indoor track coach for the boys and the girls varsity team why do you do indoor track instead of other winter sports? So first off, I actually played basketball in high school, but I ran track and was a two-time state placer for indoor track. And I also coach outdoors, so I like to uh, I like to get uh, the kids indoors, get them moving before the season starts. So that's why I like coaching indoor track. What is something about indoor track that other people might not know or understand? So in indoor track, it's it's like outdoor track. There's um, the tracks are actually shorter. If you look behind me, we're actually at an indoor facility tonight, and uh, a lap on an indoor track is 200 meters, and a lap on an outdoor track is 400 meters. But you do get to do all of the same uh, field events that you would in an outdoor facility. How has the season been going so far? So so far we've had two two meets, one at Tiffin, one in Otterbein. Um, a lot of PRs so far this year, um, a lot of new freshmen coming up actually competing in indoor this year, which was great because I was able, I coached a lot of the guys and girls uh, in junior high, so it was nice to move up and, and be able to coach with them you know, this year and to see how well they can do and, and 
You know, the goal for the end of the year is to try to make it to the state meet, which is at the end of March or the end of February. So um, hopefully, we can get a couple couple kids qualified for that and, and keep going. This has been Blake, Braden, and Brandon reporting for PNN. Creativity encompasses the ability to discover new and original ideas, connections and solutions to problems. It's part of our drive as humans, fostering resilience, sparkling joy, and providing opportunities for self-actualization. An act of creativity can be grand and inspiring such as crafting a beautiful painting or designing an innovative company. Life requires daily acts of ingenuity and novel workarounds. In this sense, almost everyone possesses some amount of creativity. By coming up with new ideas, different ways of doing things, and creating new businesses and inventions, we are able to continue to help solve world issues, come up with new cures, and make life more efficient. Creativity. series I'd like to go places and have fun and show people in Cardington where are some fun places that you can go and hang out with friends or maybe even eat some food you know I'd like to go maybe somewhere in Marion or Delaware somewhere close that you can either drive to or walk to from your own house So with Grant Goes, it's a completely original series, not based off of any other series, and it's going to be the best series on PNN. So tell me, Grant, what, what, what's the series you got? Grant Goes? Isn't that just ripping off Dalton Does? Can't you tell, Dalton, that G and D are two completely different letters? Goes, does, those are two completely different things. Grant, Grant, you're an idiot, dude. Grant goes and Dalton does are the exact same thing. Dude, you're just ripping off my series. You think just because I'm a senior, you get to just take my series and do whatever you want? But you know what, Grant, I'll, I'll let you do this. You can do Grant goes. Grant can go anywhere he wants to go. But Grant, don't come running back to me when Dalton does the sequel is worse than the original. Thanks, Dalton. I won't let you down. He'll never learn, will he? So overall, Grant Goes is going to be a great, wonderful experience, and it's a highly original series, not based off any other series, and it's going to be a great series. Let's get into it. What is a Renaissance card? 
Renaissance card is an incentive program, um, basically to reward students for good attendance, academics, behavior. How do you get a Renaissance card? For getting good grades, attending school, not missing any, um, no tardies, and no discipline. What are a few perks of a Renaissance card? Um, there are a few. Uh, we have three, gold, silver, and red, so they each have a different benefit from it, but the absolute biggest one is um, exam exemptions. You do have to hold two out of the three quarter um, Renaissance card. Uh, so for the gold, you get to exempt all your exams. And that's if you keep the gold for two out of the three. Silver, you get to exempt two. And then red, you get to exempt one final exam. Marnie. Yeah. You should like totally thug out. That's such a great idea. Can I help you? Nah, I got this. Where is that girl? Oh, here she is. Dude. See? This is totally what thugging out is. Um. It's so cool. Let's, let's switch things up. Marty, as your friend, I'm gonna help you get out of your Harry Potter phase, okay? Why? Harry is so cool, and Ron, with that flying car in the second movie, it's so lit, bro. I know, but we want to be lit lit. Lit lit? I'll show you what I mean. Like with the lighter? No. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. This instrument is so cool, yo! Okay guys, if x is negative 9 plus y, then what is y? Anybody have any ideas? Marnie? Math is dumb! You know what I'm saying, dog? I'm gonna bounce out of here! You know what? Being a gangster for a day was actually kind of cool. I really enjoyed it, and I'm so glad that I changed my style for a day because I got to see what that was like, and I enjoyed it. Young Money Marnie out. Last of our beginning, we introduced you to the FFA Mama Pig, Lola and Charlotte, and now it's finally time to meet their babies. How was this experience, and what did it mean to you? It was a really heartwarming experience. Um, we... We definitely learned a lot, and uh, I think all of us became a better team when we started working together. And I guess we took uh, we took on a lot of responsibility, so that means a lot to me. You know, I was able to help out with this project, and I was really happy about it. Now that the piglets are here, what are going to happen to the mom pigs and the piglets? The moms are going to go to. Piglets are gonna go, um, we're gonna wrap them off to FFA members for kids that want to show them at the fair and anyone that wants to race them. What are the plans on how to take care of the piglets now that they're born? So now that they're born, we're going to ear notch them, castrate them, feed them until like they get to go to a new farm. Would you recommend this experience to younger FFA members if it was offered again? Uh, yeah, it's been a really good experience and I've learned a lot taking care of the pigs and like even when they were giving birth, so it's been really fun. There's plenty of baby pigs to come meet, so don't miss out on this awesome opportunity to meet them while they're still here.